In my previous videos, I have explained about some important topics in the private and public cloud. Today, I want to give a better understanding of the differences between them when it comes to configuration, responsibilities, control and compliance. In this video, I would like to talk about degree of control, the internal compliance standards, shared responsibilities, customer responsibilities, responsibility of the implementation partner and SAP responsibilities. Good day everyone, my name is Seyan Uzun and I work for McCoy & Partners as a SAP Security and Authorization Consultant. What is degree of control? Degree of control in a private cloud, organizations generally have more control over the physical and virtual infrastructure. They can implement specific security measures and make adjustments to the authorization rules according to their needs. In a public cloud environment, the infrastructure is managed by the cloud provider. While cloud providers offer advanced security measures, organizations have less direct control over the physical infrastructure. What about the internal compliance standards? Public cloud providers have default security and access control policies. While they offer advanced options, they can offer less flexibility than a private cloud environment when it comes to customizing security settings. In the private cloud, the organization bears full responsibility for the security and compliance. In the public cloud, there is a shared responsibility between the cloud, provider and the organization. The provider is responsible for securing the cloud infrastructure, while the organization is responsible for managing the security of the data and applications they deploy to the cloud. Now we have a better understanding of the differences between the private and public clouds, I would like to explain the differences in responsibilities for authorization activities for the customer, the implementation partner and SAP. When it comes to authorization activities, in the context of SAP, the responsibilities for customer, partners and SAP itself can vary based on their roles and access requirements. Authorizations in SAP involves granting individuals or entities the right to perform specific action or access certain data with the SAP system. Let's explore the differences in responsibilities for authorization activities for customers, the partner and SAP. Customers are typically responsible for managing their own user accounts within the SAP system. This includes creating, modifying and deactivating user accounts based on the roles and responsibilities of individuals within their organization. Customers define and assign roles to users based on their job functions. Roles determine the level of access a user has within the SAP system. This involves configuring authorizations to ensure users only have access to the data and transactions necessary for their task. Customers are responsible for establishing and enforcing security policies within their SAP environment. This may include defining password policies, access control policies and other security related configurations. As a partner, we collaborate closely with customers to understand their specific business requirements and security needs. We can assist in designing and implementing authorization structures that align with best practices and meet the customer's objectives. As an implementation partner, we are closely involved in the implementation and ongoing support of SAP solutions. This includes configuring security settings, defining roles and providing expertise in authorization-related matters. As an implementation partner, we can also provide training to customer teams on SAP security best practices, user management and authorization concepts. SAP is responsible for releasing security patches and updates to address vulnerabilities in their software. Customers and partners need to apply these patches promptly to maintain a secure SAP environment. SAP offers support services and guidance to customers and partners regarding security and authorizations best practices. This may include documentation, knowledge articles and direct support channels. The choice between private and public cloud depends on several factors including security requirements. If you have specific security and compliance requirements, a private cloud can provide more control over your data and infrastructure. Costs. 
Public cloud can be more cost efficient as you only pay for the resources you use. Private cloud often requires a significant initial investment. Scalability. Public cloud can be more easily scalable, allowing you to adapt resources to demands. Private cloud may be more limited in scalability. Adaptability. Public cloud often offers more flexibility and faster deployments, while private cloud may be more suitable for specific business needs. Private cloud solutions can be more complex to manage and may require specialized skills. Public cloud providers take on a lot of management tasks. Ultimately, you need to consider your organization's specific requirements, goals and constraints when choosing between private and public cloud, or even consider a hybrid approach. If you want to learn more about this topic, please do not hesitate to contact us for more information. Thanks for watching and have a good day!